was it was uh, seven because nine seven. was about primates. Yep. You are yeah. correct. Yeah, it's seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the three three basic topics. First of all, the characteristics of living humans in the human life cycle, which is very different. Uh, <coughs> human nature, I'm not exactly sure what they mean by nature, uh, and again, I don't know what natural means as opposed to unnatural. We talk about what is natural in some cultures, it is unnatural in others, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on some of the topics, for instance, of maturation, the human life cycle, etc. Um, let's look first at the characteristics of living humans. We've already talked about our basic backgrounds. We have DNA and RNA as our hereditary system. This is the same as plants, the same as bacteria, so forth and so on, and the viruses are RNA. So it's, we share that. Uh, we are multicellular. And we have different cells doing different things. We have cells that help us breathe, that help us and digest, and help us <laughs> reproduce, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Help us grow hair or teeth or whatever. Uh, we have laterality. That is, we have a front end and a back end, and a right side and a left side. We have cartilage in our bodies. We have bone that came out of that cartilage. Uh, Chinese have just discovered a brand new fish that uh, uh, is older than we thought, uh, that has a proper jaw. We evolved jaws, we evolved teeth. We have a backbone, etc. Uh, we share a lot of characteristics with other animals because we are related to them. And of course, we share a lot with mammals, we have air. We regulate our temperature, we feed our young, we care for our young, and we, in some ways we are kind of super mammals in that, in that sense. Um, well, let's look first at the distributions and environments uh, that humans are, are found in. Uh, this is a map showing where other primates are, here, 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 here in the tropics. And this shows where humans are, which is just about everywhere. We have spread everywhere but Antarctica. We have spread from the tropics to poor areas, drier areas, and really cold areas. And that's one of our characteristics. We are found all over. The only uh, competitors we have are those uh, snow monkeys in Japan that spend all our time on the spa. They are in a cold climate during the winter time, uh, and they're about the coldest that they, uh, uh, that they are. Well, one of the things we have is gray sky and structure. Our gray is way too big for our body size compared to other primates and other animals. It's actually on a car with dolphins and whales, but, but uh, uh, compared to other primates, we are locally huge.
thousand kilos in order to be in line with the right brain size. But of course, we don't weigh that. We have a regular body size and a gigantic brain. That affects our ability to participate in social groups. We look at the neocortex ratio to the rest of the brain. It's the, that's the part that's in front. It's the part that, that thinks. It's the part that makes decisions. It's the part that ponders, etc. Uh, and the mean group size, uh, the predicted group size for our brain is 148 people, approximately, which would be a, a large size for a paleolithic group. Our brain size hasn't increased. Matter of fact, our brain size has decreased slightly in the last 20,000 years. But that doesn't mean that it's any worse. It just means that it's a little bit slower, maybe more efficient. We are certainly doing a lot more than some of the paleolithic groups. We are five people. We walk on two legs. We'll go into this a little bit more later on. But this is this is what our body looks like is supposed to take us. They are quite people. There are some ideas <coughs> that, that apes may have been bipedals and went back to being quadrupedal. Uh, that's a possibility, but that's an adequate view. Uh, it's supposed to be the bonobo and, of course, us. And that's a much, much different system of locomotion than simply quadrupedalism. It makes massive changes in the body. Not all of them good, and we are still working out the kinks in this system. Bipedalism has not been perfected. We still have problems with it. We have a lot of problems with it. We have problems with the backbone. We have problems with the venous system, with the hemorrhoids, for instance, and, and the varicose veins. Uh, we have problems with the gut. And, and we also have problems with the pelvis because of the size of the pelvis versus the size of the child's head. We'll see this collision coming uh, next week or the week after. So the brain size is increasing, the hip is uh, reshaping and getting slightly smaller, and so what happens? Instead of having a lot of room for the child to go through as in chimpanzees, we have a lot less. In some cases, we don't have enough and without medical attention, that means <coughs> and the child will die. We're still working on that system. Canine teeth. Canine teeth have great social meaning in primates, especially the apes. Uh, look at what canines are actually used for in gorillas. It is mostly for opening bamboo shoots. That's a favorite food of gorillas. But it's also used in Displays. This is a gorilla jaw and upper, uh, lower jaw and upper jaw here, showing the canines obviously there. Uh, this is an Australopithecus, a creature that we're related to, not necessarily descended from. This, <coughs> that's why one to two million years ago the canines are already very much reduced, so the jaw is still in good size. For the modern humans, we have a canine much smaller than uh, in the gorilla, and pretty much along with the Australian Pacific This is a, another picture and a photograph of a, uh, the chimpanzee Australopithecus with a bigger canine than in the illustration and a broader human jaw, or upper jaw, right there. So the canine is much reduced and right in line with the, with the incisors. Well, this is what it's used for in chimpanzees. Don't mess with me. Or gorillas. Don't mess with me. And the skull. The skull, you can see the teeth very clearly. They are big, they're nasty, and they are dimorphic. Males have much larger canines than females. It's the males that are supposed to be out in front protecting the group 